We have come to the end of our first series of videos. I've tried to do three things with these videos. You can judge whether I've been successful or not. First, I tried to present mathematics as surprisingly connected and accessible. It is a unique discipline that exists apart from the real world and at the same time gives us a blueprint for how our world is structured. And because the relationships in mathematics are connected, then maybe the world is not a group of separate objects, people, and events, but that all the things around us are interwoven as well, even if we can't see it. Second, I tried to present our human subjects in a way that would allow you to feel a connection with them, even though they may be different from you and lived at a different time than you. We met Sophie Germain when she was 13 years old and sheltered at home because it was too dangerous to go outside. We followed her as she found a way around the barriers her society put in front of her as she made her mark in mathematics. There's much more to her story and many places to go to learn more about her. She discovers she has breast cancer when she's 53 years old. Despite being in terrible pain, she continues to discover and publish new mathematics until her death two years later at age 55. We met Ramanujan when he was a high school student. We followed him from there through his four glorious years at Cambridge with Hardy and Littlewood. Again, there is much more to his story and many resources to find out more about him. His stay at Cambridge comes to an end after four years because his health is not good. He returns to India and dies a year later at 32 years of age. And finally, I tried to show the relationships between the mathematicians we profiled and their colleagues as models for the positive influence of diversity and inclusiveness on their lives. Remember, G. H. Hardy transformed British mathematics. His discoveries and writings were studied by every prominent mathematician of his time and are still studied today. But even with all his accomplishments, when Hardy was asked what his greatest accomplishment was, he said, the discovery of Ramanujan. Toward the end of his life, when he's no longer doing mathematics, he wrote this. I still say to myself when I'm depressed and find myself forced to listen to pompous and tiresome people, well, I have done one thing you could never have done, and that is to have collaborated with Littlewood and Ramanujan on something like equal terms. If we listen to what Hardy has to say, and we read what the male colleagues of Sophie Germain wrote about her, we see that bringing inclusiveness and diversity into their lives was good for them, and it can be good for us as well. It is something we, as human beings, can access and embrace, and it can make our existence even more magical.